out of y'all. Some radar again. Whenever I think that there is no hope for humanity, someone goes and gets my views to shift a bit. It makes me realize that if one person can change, then there is a chance for others to follow suit. Let me start by saying this. We constantly hear about God's love and what a, God, what a good Christian is, yet by observing a few of them on a daily basis, I begin to wonder where their love lies. Is it love to berate someone for being gay? Uh, a good Christian casts out their own flesh and blood for being gay and not accepting their child for who they are. Is that considered love as well? These people shouldn't be judging. It's all up to the man upstairs. At least that's what I've read. And please don't quote me Bible verses because I did go to Sunday school contrary to popular belief. Not all of these Christians are bad. My own cousin Laura, she is a good Christian. And I don't go off on her for, for that or say that her views are crazy or, or nuts, whatever. She has something in her heart that she truly believes in. And she strongly believes in the Word of God. But there is one difference here. She loves me for me, even though I'm gay. She supports gay marriage, and she will be on the front lines if someone ever, ever tried to slam me for my orientation. That right there, that is Christian love. Another good example here, there was this gentleman who was so against the gay community. He was on the front lines, waving his conservative flag around, sprouting Bible verses here and there, but he went and changed his views quite recently. He went undercover, posing as a gay man infiltrating our, our, you know, our ranks. In a way, it was a spiritual journey for him. Could his own beliefs come into question here, just by observing us? Well, he came to find out that, yeah, they could. Not too long after he came out, his own friends began to distance themselves from him. His once active social life turned into lonely nights at home. He felt ostracized and alone. The people he thought were close to him were the first to bail on him. love and good Christian values certainly were nowhere to be found. Even his own mother wrote in her diary that she'd rather have a child diagnosed with cancer than to have a gay son. He was living with a guy who was posing as his boyfriend to keep his cover and by living with him he found that he could empathize and he came to understand the gay community a lot better and what kind of crap we all go through. A once judgmental heart opened itself up to love and compassion. 
he himself became a good Christian. Okay. You know the drill. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to. I'll leave a link below for the news story that this, you know, this episode was inspired by. And until next time, peace, y'all.